All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to create a local Rust server. This is gonna be the simplest video ever. Okay, this is for the people who are just trying to make a local server so they can make thumbnails or cinematics or some other reason. Before we even start, I wanna let you know this. All of my information is coming from this website right here. I will be linking this in the description. This is for the people who don't wanna be reading all this or just don't know how to read at all. That being said, I don't want people in my comment session talking about oh dark truffles why isn't this working or what how do i do this how do i do that i don't know okay i don't know all i'm doing is reading okay that's all i'm doing so if you want additional information come to this site right here take your lazy ass to this site and read but but you know what let's start let's start all right so we're gonna start off by going into our c drive and then creating two new folders one is going to be called Steam CMD, and the other one is going to be called Rust Server, just like this. After you finish making those two folders, you're going to go ahead and download the steamcmd.zip. The link for that download will be in the description. After you finish downloading it, you're just going to double click it, you're going to extract all, and then you're going to find the Steam CMD folder that you created earlier. So we're going to go to Browse, this PC, and then go to my C drive and then we're just going to click the folder right here and we're just going to select it simple and extract and then there goes the file right there so this file is the file that's going to go to the steam cmd folder that we create right here so if we double click it you'll see that that's the file so now we're going to double click this and we're just going to let it run its course all right so after it's finished you'll have a prompt right here that says steam we're going to have to put in a few more commands, but don't worry. I'm going to have all the commands in the description. I got you. I got all y'all. Now, the first command is going to be login anonymous. You press enter and then you let it run its course. Don't touch it. Just let it rock. Once it's finished, the steam prompt will pop right back up. Blah, blah, blah. Prompt, prompt. Yeah. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? It will pop back up the steam thing. Okay. Now we're going to run this command. Make sure your folder location is the same as what's in the command. We're gonna press enter and it don't seem like it did nothing but but we got somewhere next you're gonna run this command and you're gonna let it do its magic just let it rock sit back relax twiddle with your thumbs watch some tv watch some of my rust videos <coughs> sorry i had to clear my throat and then and you can subscribe too you can subscribe now after that's all done you're just gonna go ahead and type in quit and let's press enter Next, we're going to go ahead and go to our Rust server folder. And notice how there's files in there now. Magic, right? Next, we're going to go ahead and right click, go to new, and then make a new text document. We're going to highlight everything in here and we're going to rename it to like Rust server dot bat. You can name it whatever you want. It could be startup. It could be dark truffles. It could be whatever, but just make sure at the end it's dot bat like this you're gonna get a warning and just click yes there we go now we're gonna right click that dot bat file and then we're gonna go ahead and edit it now go ahead and copy this command i'm gonna have it in the description but after you copy it just paste it in this file if you want to know what all of this means just go ahead and check the website it will tell you everything what every single command means like for example this is the type of map that's the seed um, this is how big the map is, max player self-explanatory, and so on. Like, I'm not explaining all this to y'all. Y'all could do it. I could figure it out yourself. All right, but yeah, after you finish, you go ahead and save and then close it. Now go ahead and open up the file that you just created. And this is going to take a little bit too. So, like I said, go watch a, go watch a Dark Truffles video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, you know, like, like, you know, comment all that good stuff you know you know you know after it's finally done it should look something like this like we should have like the frames counter down in the bottom right hand corner it should just look like this all right now after it's all ready i like to add myself as the owner so i run this command where this is my steam id right here and then my name will be right here this is so you can run all the commands that you want. You can do whatever you want on your own server. See how this I added it right there? That's all you need to do. Now you got to make sure that you keep this up at all times when you want your server up. 
This command prop needs to be running at all times, but we're going to go ahead and launch Rust. Once we finally launch Rust, one thing that we have to do first before we do anything, I don't know if it's like a bug or something like that, but we have to go into options. And then we have to go over the graphic settings and then we have to raise back up our graphic quality to whatever it is. Mine was at five. If yours was at zero, then keep it at zero. I, I don't know. Just just put it back to where it was. All right. But now we're going to open up the Rust console by pressing F1. And then we're going to go ahead and paste this command in. Um, right now, this command doesn't work, but it's supposedly supposed to be fixed on April 1st. But for some reason, there's like a bug where it's not working. So instead of doing local host, put your IP address right here and then run the command like this. So I have my IP address right here. Like I said, you should be able to run local host in the future. But for now, this is how you got to do it. Then you'll go ahead and press enter and then you should start connecting. We all know that this takes a while, so, you know, go ahead and, you know, watch a Dark Truffle video, you know, like, subscribe, comment when, while you're doing this, you know, you know, you feel me, you feel me? After you finish watching your Dark Truffle video and you find it all again, there you go. Look at it. Our own server to do whatever we want. No one to bother us, no one to come and kill us, except for animals. Look, look at the map. Beautiful on server just for ourselves like we can open up the console we can pick any item that we want look at that got all the items look beautiful and then we can even put in commands over here like no click look now we flying i can see clearly now the wind is gone i can see no let me stop all right, but yeah, I hope this was very helpful and informational. Uh, yeah, subscribe.